fucking door. Unlock the doors Open now. The door. Unlock, Unlock the, the doors door. now. Hey, Open the door now. Open the door now. Open the door now. I'm six four David Chuck Fire Chuck Fire. Yeah, just bought his new car three days before that. And he was just riding around in his car. He said, Mom, going for a ride. And I killed him. We're now done with George Floyd uh, 2.0. It's been almost four years since um, uh, George Floyd was uh, fatally shot by, uh, well, sorry, fa fatally killed by police officers. I'm sorry, uh, died of a massive fentanyl and speed overdose. Uh, but we have the same story repeating itself right now. March 21st. Uh, the uh, Chicago police, they shot and killed. This is the headline. They say shot and killed a black man, 26-year-old man named Dexter Reed. Okay, there is some information here. And I, I want to be clear. I've said this. I, I don't unilaterally back the blue because there's a, there, there is a lot that we need to see as far as police reform. Namely, better training. If you have to go to your firearm because you have no other physical capabilities or tools at your disposal to, sub to, to subdue somebody, you're going to panic. And that certainly seems like it happened here. But to make that jump, you can say, all right, and in this case, it's not true. This person was pulled over with cause. This person was a criminal. This person shot at police officers, and the police officers shot back. But you could even say, all right, maybe someone was pulled over without good reason. Sure. You could maybe say in another scenario, these police officers were poorly trained. They panicked. We need to make police officers less reactive. Absolutely. But to accept those premises here and say, therefore, these police officers in Chicago shot a man because he was black. No, you have to accept all of those to accept the narrative that the media is pushing out there. And by the way, you should notice they're not saying unarmed black man on this one. They've lied about that in the past and said unarmed when they were in fact armed. But in this case, it's so clear they just avoid it altogether. So a 26 year old named Dexter Reed shot by police. Okay, the mayor, Brandon Johnson, immediately goes to race. Police firing 96 shots in 41 seconds at one man in a deadly traffic stop last month that killed 26-year-old Dexter Reed. Newly released body cam music. video shows what led to this all. Police say they pulled Reed over for not wearing Seems a like seatbelt. someone's house. When officers yeah, approached his move SUV, that the bus. situation quickly escalated. As mayor and as a father raising a family, Jesus Christ, including two black boys on the west side of Chicago, here it comes. I am personally <laughs> devastated to see yet another young black man lose his life during an interaction with the police. Okay, well, here's the thing. Hopefully your son doesn't open fire on police repeatedly. Maybe that's a relevant piece of information. If you believe your sons will, if you believe that your children will, then they're at greater risk. If they don't, they're actually at lower risk than white Americans. And we'll get those stats for you in just a second. Let's go through the claims that you may be hearing out in the media definitively and the truth. Here's the claim that Reed uh, is the latest victim in senseless police brutality and or racism. He had just bought his new car three days before that. And he was just riding around in his car. He said, Mom, I'm going for a ride. And I killed him. All right, everyone, careful. Oh. Don't say that it looks like someone from Run DMC in a Party City wig. I won't. Now, <laughs> here are the media headlines. They say, deadly Chicago traffic stop where police fired 96 shots raises serious questions about use of force. Seat belt violation ends with black man dead in Chicago uh, after cops fired nearly 100 bullets. Okay, here's the truth. And there are a couple of claims there, right? Just a seat belt violation. Oh, they just fire, open fire on a black man. Almost 100 bullets. Some of those things are true. Some of them are not. Here's the truth that you really need to know. The body cam footage clearly shows that Reed repeatedly fired at police officers first. Roll the windows down. Roll the window down now some reports say 11 down. shots. We counted eight. Comment what below doing? what you hear. Roll, this one down. roll that one down too. Uh, this one down. Hey, don't roll the window up. I'm don't roll the window up. Okay, okay. He's rolling it up because he's about up. to shoot them. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Unlock the doors now. Open the door now! Open the door now! Open the door now! I'm six four David, shots fired, shots fired! Shots fired! It's not gonna cover. Fernando David, no, it's not. <laughs> She also uh, decided to find better cover with a cheese grater. <laughs> so, hold on a second. 
and there's there's another uh, security uh, camera angle as well. They say lower the window. All right. He doesn't. He raises the window. They say open the door. Now, I don't know if you know this. The reason that they ask someone to lower the window and the reason they ask someone to open the door in scenarios like this is particularly if they are concerned that someone may have a weapon, because at this point they're trying to check for a weapon. Their concern is that they may be shot. So they were actually going through this protocol to try and ensure that he didn't have a gun and wasn't going to shoot them. And he did those things. It's why the protocols are in place. Here's another angle from a neighbor's, uh, I think, like a ring security camera. Here you go. And now you hear the shots. So again, we haven't been able to corroborate the number of shots. Uh, I've read reports that say 11. We counted eight or nine. Please comment below and let us know uh, what you hear. This information isn't out right now uh, or wasn't this morning. We're still looking for it. Here's another key truth. The seatbelt violation, they told you. No, the truth is that Reed was out on pretrial release after being charged in 2023 with three counts of aggravated unlawful use of a weapon Oof. and one count of possession of a firearm with uh, a revoked uh, FYD card. Oh, still has it. So this is what happened. The media, of course, is showing this photo in the reporting. Oh, oh, look at that. oh he's 26 there. And not this <laughs> he's one. He's retarded. There you go. Oh, okay. oh there we no, go. he's not retarded. Though. <laughs> but my, the point here is... is if you're pulling someone over who you know, oh my gosh, this person is quite literally out on pretrial release for what seem to be violent crimes or certainly crimes that are related to violence, right? Having these unlaw uh, unlawful use of a weapon. And I want to make sure I have this uh, aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. You're pulling them over. This person is non-compliant. This person probably knows that if they actually, uh, if they actually comply with police, they're going to jail. Could you please roll down your window? No. Could you please open your door? No. Bang, 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 bang. You can talk about the 96 shots being an overreaction, but that doesn't make it about race. There is an argument to be made, and this is the problem. Like Nick was just saying, a distraction, you know, OJ, people will be talking about that. This ends up being a distraction where you don't actually talk about the things that need to be improved with the police force. There's a recruitment shortfall. Physical fitness standards have gone down. People don't want to go into the job. A lot of them are not capable of, so of resolving a situation, de-escalating with any tool other than a gun. They want to make it about race. And it's a lie. Let me give you a few statistics that you need to keep in your back pocket. We make all these references publicly available. Police officers are, in, these are irrefutable, are 18 and a half times more likely to be killed by a black suspect than killing a black suspect. 18 and a half more, uh, 18 and a half times more likely. Now, something else, black Americans, 23% less likely to be shot by police than white Americans. And the Harvard professor, who actually uh, mm -hmm. uh, was what he was ostracized for this study, to be clear. And this is something else they don't tell you. And he did it twice. He did it over again. He did it over mm -hmm. again. Right. And we had stats before that that people didn't like to hear. They would always say, unarmed black man, unarmed black man, unarmed black man. Well, here's the thing. We always knew this, that uh, armed black men were less likely to be shot than armed white men, to be clear. Unarmed black men were more likely to be shot by police than unarmed white men. What they didn't tell you is that unarmed black men are exponentially more likely to commit violence against a police officer. Doesn't mean it's because of melanin, but the stats affect it. Why would there be a discrepancy between armed and unarmed? So they would always go with unarmed black men. It doesn't matter. The target keeps moving. This man wasn't unarmed. This man shot at the police. And they're going to make it about race anyway. And if they want to make it about race, it ignores the problem of, oh, do I think that 96 shots is excess? I, I don't know. Certainly sounds like it could be. I think that police overreact all the time. I actually support chokeholds. I support using tasers. I support having more non-lethal tools, which, by the way, the left completely opposes at every single step. So they're left with really nothing but a gun. Or in the UK, billy clubs, because they're glorified truancy officers, you can say it was an overreaction, but to say it was an overreaction just because of his skin color, okay? Police also did the exact same thing with an acorn. Just fire! Just fire! Just fire! You know. It looks like the same video. <laughs> I know. But that was an acorn yeah. falling on the truck. <laughs> what do they got against white cars? I'm hit, he says. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest clips ever. You can go back and watch it. Yeah, Nick. What are all these high-profile cop shooting on a, shooting young black men? What do they all have in common? 
All of them, a hundred and fucking fifty percent. Drugs are no dad. <laughs> what? Drugs are no dad. No. <laughs> well, yes, that too. Well, you, you went I way should, deeper than I did. I shouldn't have answered. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. None of them comply with the police's demands. Yep. Right. Okay, it starts there. Yeah. And would you feel better if they only shot him 14 times? Right. What the fuck's the difference after that? I, I don't know. care if it's 11,000 bullets. Right. We keep fucking focusing on the wrong thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, and, I just and he's raising his complete blackout window. Yes. Which are illegal. What? What? No. Are what, they illegal? Because I don't see cars without I, tinted windows anywhere anymore. No, in the fr in the front. Yeah. Complete blackout. What, what? He knew he could hide. Wouldn't open the door. But, wait, mean, but where are they illegal? I want to know. They, this are, I, they are illegal, but they, you know, people do it anyway. Mm. It's, not, it's all I see in Savannah. <laughs> and it is. Didn't, everything's tinted. Didn't, well, the mom with the orange, didn't the mom with the orange hair say he, he was happy about his new car? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The front door was already caved then, in. Yeah. I know. She, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Can you play, then, the, play, play the clip of the, of, of the run DMC cover. <laughs> I like the way she fell back like Prince when he was uh, in Dr. Hey, door. Well, hold on yeah. play, door. play her clip again. Play her clip again. Sorry. Okay. Play her clip again. That's a good catch. I, I didn't even realize that. I think that, see, I want to see hold. the full clip because I think that they might have hit, hit, rammed him to stop him because he's stopped not in a random spot. He's kind of in the intersection. And then the one car is like, the one police car is, because there's another angle of this video. And one police car is blocking the car. He tried to take off after shooting. He couldn't take off because he's being blocked, and there's another car behind him. I think that because there's four you think officers. You they him or something? I think they might have ran the plates or something. I, there's got to be more to this than just, oh, I see he doesn't have a seatbelt. Right. Let's pull him over. And then because you said there's the other Well, charges. they make it sound. Again, the only information right. we have is it's a seatbelt violation, right. in which case they run his plates. Go, well, this who, guy's a violent that's criminal. Right. Why are there that's ever right. four officers that's on a happened. standard seat? Like, that's... And that then new maybe they pulled him over, called for backup because yeah. you know, oh, this guy is out on pretrial because of three violent, uh, yeah. violent assault charges. Once again, you don't know where the, the recording starts. Yeah, right, exactly. But that is a good point. Play the play the uh, the flavor flavor again. <laughs> and just bought his new car three days before pop. that, and he was just riding around in his car. No, he, he was Mom, liar. Ride. Comes the faint. Thing. And they killed him. She sounds like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Falls back like James Brown getting off stage. The brother just bought a Ford Escape. New car, old gun. Ah! That's... <laughs> I can't stand. Ah! That's what it seems like. I'm just saying. Take it up with them. Now, I'll tell you, when I get stopped, it's 10 and 2, and I don't fumble for my license. Do you? Oh, I no, I put the I put If it's night, I put the light on. Yep. Yeah. I put my hands on the wheel. And I throw the coke out the window. But you yes. don't go, you don't go grappling in your pocket for your wallet or anything. Any movement. I like to fuck with the coke. Yeah, but yeah, Pop Strider, you are a smart ass. <laughs> no, we did a change. Yes, we did. We did a change my mind. At True story. We did a change my mind at SMU. Oh, we we're wow. driving back, <laughs> and uh, the cop pulls us over. <laughs> he goes, uh, "Do you know that? Uh, you know how fast you're going?" He, I think, he said, "I don't know. I was going uh, maybe like 35." He's yeah, in a school zone. And Pop Strider goes, "At a university?" <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, you think you're funny?" Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get a warning. So well, he was shot 96 times. <laughs> yes, exactly. Rubber bullets, missed. though, because I'm a white guy. What? Yeah. <laughs> Look like Furman. You should have just said that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 96 Who shots, am? four cops. But just the, this is where we are. Yeah, and then so we see her saying he just bought the new car. Now I'll show the clip again where it's, it's caved into the side. See how he's blocking the car? The There's a car behind them. I, I don't think they would have rammed the him for a seatbelt. I don't think so either. It would look worse than what that. Yeah, it would look worse than that. It's got to be more than So within three belt. days, new car, unless he bought it, maybe. maybe yeah, he, I mean, people buy some beat up cars sometimes. Maybe he's thrifty. Sure. He bought a sure. salvage title. That's, sure. True. Could be. Now it's definitely a salvage title. <laughs> I've never seen a black and a dented car before. What are you guys debating? I don't, you know what? That's, a, <laughs> that's why it's such a mystery. <laughs> All they're missing was duct tape on the fucking windshield. <laughs> That's only because rusty cars don't exist anymore. That's yes, true. that's true. Watch Ladder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.